All right, welcome guys to another historic popper. Um, so this is our weekly tournament, and I am going to play first. And let's take a look here. Ooh, this is this is really close. I do have the one drop and a protection, and then one more land gets me a counter spell and a bounce. But these two shinobis, these are the highest mana cost in my deck at three. Um. This is really close. On the play, I think this is a mulligan. And yeah, let's look at this. Yeah, this looks perfect. Yeah. Um, the one drop into ninjas and a counter spell. Uh, let's put a land back. Okay, my opponent mulliganing again. So let's lead with our Raven. I think next turn I do want to land because I'm going to be drawing cards with these ninjas and I want to have enough lands to play ninja and counterspell. So this is my version of fairies and ninjas except uh, I'm not playing very many fairies. <laughs> And the reason for that is I want to play Counterspell. So I'm playing more artifacts um, to fuel that. Yep, so this is a pretty easy play here. Um, another land. Three lands. Is three lands four lands? You know what? I'll put this one on the bottom. So my opponent on black, white, ooh, look at this. Black, white, green, blue. Interesting. I'm not sure what that represents. But I will play another ninja here. And let's get our card draw going. So we basically already uh, unmulliganed. And look at that, that's our counter spell. So black, white, green, blue. Um, I'm going to discard my network disruptor, I think. And let's play our silver raven here again. Another network disruptor. I don't think I want that. I think I just want counter spells from now on. So th this suggests a really slow deck. Obviously, he has the brewer's advantage here. But um, he basically has one turn to deal with my board, and like, even if he kills one of my creatures, it, it's, I still have a pretty big board. Yeah, look at this. Alright, so he gets to kill one of my creatures. And, uh, oh yeah, perfect. Bone Splitter here. Going to let me attack for five. So this is a big clock, and I have two counter spells in hand. So let's see what my opponent does. Omen and see, that's fine. It doesn't affect the board. Alright, so taking a look at this, this looks like four color omens. Um, usually they're, um, they have a uh, core sky fisher and uh, geothermal kami. And then they basically, uh, they basically play omens and then bounce them back to their hand for value. And then they're splashing green for, I think, a 1-4 reach that also gains life um, when you play enchantment. So it's a, it's a very defensive card that just lets them stay alive until the end game. And then they just grind you down with all their card advantage. So this is a pretty slow deck. Um, yeah, let's get rid of the Silver Raven. Don't eat that. I'm just holding up two counter spells, and he had to pass his turn. Oh, and look, yeah, look at this. Um, Geothermal Kami from Neon Dynasty. And this is just game over. GG's. 
All right, so my opponent is on four color, uh, four color enchantments. So I want witness protection here to get rid of his, uh, his reach creature. I think I can get rid of, uh, you come to a river. It, this is a really good tempo card, but, um, I think I, I don't need it. Um, I'd rather, uh, he, he not, uh, do I want this actually? Cause he could bounce. No, he could bounce it back to his hand with core sky fisher and these, this would fall off, but I think that's fine. And then I think I get rid of a, you see a guard approach and I have one slot left. Maybe it's spell pierce. Just more counter spells. Yeah. So he, my opponent doesn't have that many um, flying creatures to block, other than his reach creature and core sky fisher. Well, all right, all right. So that's a reasonable amount. Um, but uh, his deck is just slow, slower than mine. And um, look at this. This looks like a perfect hand. Yeah. So my opponent's on the play this time, though. So let's play Network Disruptor or Fairy Miscreant. I think it's Network Disruptor. Because next turn, um, I want to go Moon Circuit Hacker. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he has the Bamboo Grove Archer. But, um, we have the Bone Splitter here. So what do we do? I think we... Unfortunately, him being on the play means we can't hold up Counter Spell for his 1-4 on 3 mana. Um, so if that's the case, I'm just going to equip Bone Splitter and Tack here. Trade off for his Ant Archer. Yep, so here's the one four. Um We don't need another land. Do I want to play Miscreant? I think I do. Or I could hold up a counter spell. Um holding up counter spell is only worth it for basically another Nexus Wardens. A second copy. So I think I just play Bone Splitter here. So I'm looking for my Witness Protection, I think. Urban Utopia, yep. He gets to gain life. He's not attacking, right? Yeah. All right. Um. So do I Moon Circuit Hacker here? He. This is. Huh. So here, I think I just play Moon Circuit Hacker. Is it worth sacrificing creature? I don't think it is. I think I just play Moon Circuit Hacker and hold up a counter spell. So the plan here is that I'm going to equip Bone Splitter onto the hacker next turn, attack for four. I'll probably uh I'll probably counter any ground creature he has, which is um going to be uh geothermal kami most likely. Yep, you gain life, get to scry.
blue. And he doesn't do anything. Interesting. Alright, so let's get in here with Hacker. Last gasp. Interesting. So this is probably a sideboard card, right? Otherwise he'd have Meyer scraps. Tap an untapped artifact. Into Omen of the Sea. I think I counter this too. I don't want him drawing more cards, basically. The, the selection. So let's attack here. He chooses the block of fairy, okay. Gonna decline here. There's really no point in milling up one card. So my opponent does have three cards in play. Oh wow, look at this. Candle trap. Interesting. Has defender prevent all okay. Um, yeah, just gonna have to pass. My opponent has successfully stalled out the game, and he's still at 21. Two top from my opponent, that's not great. Another Nexus Warden, sorry. I have to counter this. Hmm. I guess I'm just playing ninja here. Omen of the Dead, okay. That's gonna get back Nexus Wardens, I guess. Yeah. No attacks. You got it. Another candle trap. Wow, okay. So I guess I equip bones. No, I can keep it on. I guess. Prevent all combat damage. Yeah, alright. So I can move it to my silver raven here. Yeah, these Nexus Wardens and the Bamboo Grove Archer are just really good at the moment. Uh, gonna pass. So I'm holding this land in case I draw another Moon Circuit Hacker. What do I have against these Candle Traps? I don't really have anything against these Candle Traps. Uh, a sky Fisher. I think I have to counter it. Um, because he can get back Omen of the Dead and then bring back another Bamboo Grove Archer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he had another Omen. Alright, so this game is out of hand and 
he's just gonna be able to he can loop these infinitely for infinite blockers um i'll, I'll take a draw but uh I mean, honestly, he could just use it to get back the Ambu Grove Archer, too. Um, this game is out of hand. Alright, GG's. So, game three will be on the play. Um, that's going to be good for us, of course. Um, so, knowing all these, maybe I do want you see a guard approach. I can probably get rid of Starling Development. Ah, uh, Starling Development seems really good. I uh I can probably get rid of Spell Pierce. He's gonna have a lot of mana. Um get rid of a make disappear. So the hex proof and the tapping on Musia Guard are makes it a great tempo card. Alright, so let's play first here. Ooh. Two counter spells. I think that's pretty good. Obviously, I need to draw a ninja here. But, um, this looks pretty good. Unfortunately, I don't have the ninja. And I don't have a cycling or draw a spell to play here. So I, I've been fooling around this deck. I, I've been trying to decide whether or not it's worth it to play flash creatures as well. Um, Alright, well I am getting some damage in. But I'm drawing a ton of lands, which is not great. Alright, so this one is an easy counter. I have to assume uh, my opponent knew that going in. And then he probably has a second one here. I did draw the witness protection. So the next one I can probably let go. Um... A ninja, a bone splitter, a mull drifter. Draw two. I think that's fine. You know, he's he's using a lot of time here, time and mana. Um, obviously, I don't have that big of a clock, but oh, perfect. Get to draw a card here with this miscreant. Another land is not great, but you know, we do have three power on board and one counter spell. Not the worst. Omen of the Sea is fine. Yeah, as long as he's not adding to the board uh, in terms of creatures, I think it's fine. Skyfisher. Get back Omen of the Sea. I think I counter this. Actually. Yeah, yeah. I think I counter this. Instead of Witness Protection. Like, this. these are both weak to... Um, weak to Omen of the Dead. Or, sorry. Countering it is weak to Omen of the Dead. Witness Protection is weak to another core skyfisher um but the difference with skyfisher into skyfisher is that if he bounces this he'll get uh he'll get to play again okay geothermal kami gets a three life so that basically gets him a turn here i i've just unfortunately not been drawing exactly what i would like A bone splitter, okay. I would like a bone splitter. So I'm really weak to suffocating fumes here. But um I really can't do anything about that. Okay, Skyfisher. Do 
Wait. Into another omen. Yeah, I mean, he's played this omen so many times, I have to assume he has all the cards he wants. An archer. Alright. So I'm gonna bone splitter, put it on my miscreant. Let's uh network adapt disruptor. I think I disrupt the archer here. So he trades for the miscreant, interesting. Let's end our turn. He he knows we don't have a counter spell, but we might as well represent it. Oh, this Geothermal Kami is quite good. That the three life from the Geothermal Kami just gets him so much. And the four power, of course, is really good too. So we do have basically one turn here. If we draw maybe a, a ninja into counterspell, we'll, we might still be able to take it. Interesting. Candle trap. Okay. That's fine. Ooh, I can get five damage in. It's not quite enough, unfortunately. That candle trap was really, really clutch. I think I have to go for it, though. So here I have to witness protection, his archer. And then next turn I have to hope for a ninjutsu, most likely, or a bone splitter. My startling development would be nice. This is 9 damage, okay. So I guess I can block here. Run all combat damage. Yeah. I mean, this doesn't really matter. I guess I could not block it just to hold up um, disruption. Ooh, Geothermal Kami. Alright, I'm going to have to counter this because this is this is uh, 3 life, which would put him out of range. And then let's we have to hope he doesn't have anything else here. So I need to draw a, ninja, a damage source. Myers Grasp, okay. So I have four power, I need to draw an into Candle Trap, oh, okay. So I need to draw a, quite a lot. <laughs> into Double Candle Trap, oh my goodness. That is very unfortunate. We've just drawn so many lands in my 20 land deck. And we didn't draw any ninjas. We're playing nine ninjas. Um, so what can I do here? Network disruptor. Doesn't really do anything. Yeah, I think I'm just dead. I mean, I, I do get to survive one turn by chump blocking. Does that do anything? I guess I just have to play it out. Ooh, behold the multiverse. 
Okay, so this looks like not all in on the enchantments. More of a four color valley. So I guess I'll chump block here. So I need to draw basically a ninja this turn. Oh my goodness, and he has a reach creature. So that that's probably going to be game. You see a guard approach comes in a little bit too late. Um, can I still survive here? I could. Does that get me closer to actually winning the game? Probably not. Yeah. Alright, GG's. That's round one.